The GOAT of Camp Chairs has major competition. This is it right here. And we're gonna talk about this along with nine other up and coming gear items right now. We got 10 gadgets that I've never seen before. And what I'm gonna do is see them for the first time here, obviously. <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you whether or not I would buy them or not. This is round two with Lloyd of Garage Grown Gear. And Lloyd thinks that these are gonna be some of the best gadgets of 2024, what's left of it, and even into 2025, is that right? Yeah, they're they're good, uh, interesting, quirky pieces of ultralight gear that I think you'll, uh, you know, have some hot takes on. So for those of you that don't know who Lloyd is or what Garage Grown Gear is, Lloyd, what is yeah, it? Yeah, uh, we're- Who uh, are you? Uh, <laughs> I'm Lloyd, I'm a CEO and co-founder of Garage Grown Gear. Garage Grown Gear is a, is a platform for small and ultra light uh, outdoor brands. So yeah, we sell about 250 different brands, a lot of uh, stuff that you wouldn't find wow. at big box stores. <laughs> All right, what do you got? <laughs> okay. I have not seen these. Okay, and one other thing I forgot to add is, I'm gonna try to guess what they are. Okay, so I'm gonna close my eyes and Lloyd is gonna, wherever Lloyd is. Oh, I'm right over here, I'm coming. This feels like trekking poles. This is a stool. Stuff that's kind of three. Oh, yep. Yeah, yeah, good job. Some sort of a stool. It is uh, some sort of a stool. It's the uh, BTR, uh, Better Than a Rock, uh, stool um, by uh, Hill Sound Equipment. Uh, weighs um, a little over 12 ounces. It's better than a rock, better than sitting on the ground, a little bit lighter than a chair, and uh, it has these like phantom locks so you just like pull those out oh yeah they just snap into place and they just snap into place oh that's cool yeah that was easy so that's the stool 14 what'd you say how how is it it's like 12 12, 12 ounces. ounces so i'm gonna guess the price yeah 59 dollars or 90. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> think about how much an, a helinox <laughs> chair costs in comparison <laughs> that's that's tough that is tough 59 bucks it is super light though. Yeah, it holds uh, up to 250 pounds. Oh, okay. Can I, I have to, wait, hold on, I have to sit on it first. Can I sit on it? Yeah, you can definitely sit on it. How do you feel? That's comfy. Yeah, right? It, Surprisingly. It is very comfy. Yeah, that's not bad at all. It doesn't feel super wobbly. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Yeah, I'd buy this. I think 90 bucks is probably on the high side, I'm gonna be honest. Uh -huh. But uh, I, 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 59.95. Come on, you guys. Yeah, you can get a pro deal, I'm sure. Yeah, get a pro deal. <laughs> Give me a pro deal. Yeah, that's awesome. Sweet. But it uh, just uh, collapses up pretty easy, and um, you can just kind of call it a day from there. Oh, oh, whoa. That's yours. How did you do that? Um, if you just uh, put them all straight. Boom, done. And then, and then put them straight. Yeah, and then they should just. Oh, uh, dude. Yeah, okay, like that's lock. cool. Neat. That's cool. That's like instant. I don't have to sit on a rock while I'm eating lunch or dig for my chair and spend 20 minutes setting right. it up. Yeah, that's cool. Nice. Starting off with a winner. There you go. <laughs> Slightly different scale. Are you serious? Yeah, what is it? Is this like a cap to something? Ooh, it is a cap to something. So it's, a, it's a sport cap mm. for a water bottle. Uh, oh my gosh, I know what this is. <laughs> I hope you haven't used this before you came uh, here. <laughs> unused, unused. <laughs> <laughs> How this do you the, put uh, it in there? The Holy Hiker Bidet. Uh, so it has four little holes. So some of the most ultralight bidets just have one. Okay. But with four, it disperses the water so it uh, really uh, gives a good surface area clean. Just say it, four times if your poop gets cleaner. That's right, yeah. Uh, there's a little arrow so you know, even if it's at night, um, which uh, what direction to be able to put this thing. It's got a little O-ring so that it can stick uh, right in there. And then... Uh, Okay. We'll uh, we'll do a little squirt for a uh, wow. stream. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so, um, so uh, I I call this the Bentley of bidets because uh, oh. there's a lot of bidets on the market, but the four holes you can even use it as a little bit of an ultralight shower if you wanted because uh, it uh, it really does uh, get that stream going. Okay. Well, see, I've never looked at a bidet as at least in the hiking world as luxury until <laughs> I mean I suppose if you're in a house and you have a bidet that's is that luxurious i guess so there's no additional charge for using the uh, bidet no ma'am use of the bidet is complimentary mm -hmm. very nice good, very good. nice good, good, good. Okay. can i guess how much it is you definitely can uh i'm gonna say 6.99 i believe it's 13 13 bucks 13.25 okay. all right yeah. yeah i mean usa made i'm assuming at that point. it is yep yeah, it's uh it's usa made uh, by this uh, very eccentric and wonderful middle school teacher named Paul. 
Oh, wow. Yeah. Middle school teacher. He teaches Way a course pull. where uh, his students uh, have to, like, create a product. Okay. And he used this as his, like, demo for his class. Oh, that's super uh, cool. And then he started a business around it. Yeah, I'm buying so. it. That's cool. I But I've never used a bidet, like, <laughs> ever. No one needs to know that. <laughs> no one needs to know that. I would still buy it. Pretty much every item on this list is extremely ultralight, but probably the most ultralight, actually the most ultralight item on this list is our sponsor for today, Onyx Backcountry, because it's an app and they're weightless. If you've been living under a rock and you don't know what Onyx Backcountry is, it's an app for your phone to help you navigate in the backcountry. It will help you find water sources, campsites, stay on trail, and you can actually plan your entire hike. But now there's even more to Onyx than before. You've got the ability to hike, mountain bike, ski tour, and climb. So the app has features built in for each of those activities specifically. But one of my favorite features to the app is the ability to see private and public lands, which you can only get with their elite membership. But with my coupon code, you can get 20% off the elite membership bringing that price down quite a bit. So a huge thanks to Onyx Backcountry for sponsoring this video. Click the link in the description below for 20% off. You ready? Yep. Here you go. Is, it, is that it? That's it. It's a steak bag. Wait, is it, what's, the, what's the product? The, the product is a steak bag. Okay. Um, and I, I think this is unique because I think this is the, uh, the best steak bag in the world. Because it does the thing where if, you have, uh, if you've got mittens on, um, if you've got a, uh, like a wet hand that kind of gets stuck on fabric, uh, this opening tapers on down so that you can easily reach in and grab your steaks. And uh, when you're done, uh, you just uh, can uh, cinch this on down and it disappears and kind of looks like a carrot. <clears throat> oh, okay, cool. <laughs> He's not uh, impressed, <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, I mean, I like the allure. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I, I don't really have a problem getting my steaks out of my steak bag. <laughs> like that's never even been a thought to me. Uh -huh. Honestly, I don't even use a steak bag. I put them inside of the same bag as my tent. Mm -hmm. uh, it's from All Man's Right. Uh, he's like a, was like a classical designer. Uh, I went to like Parsons School of Design and then uh, started designing uh, ultralight uh, backpacking gear uh, in the Bronx. I'm gonna put that on the I'm not gonna buy it list only because I don't buy steak bags mm -hmm. separately, uh, but. That's cool. It's this cool. is actually my cool. steak bag, so uh, <laughs> it probably you is can't have a it steak anyway. Bag. Yeah. <laughs> oh, price. Uh, price is going to be uh, twenty-seven dollars. I believe it's twenty-two dollars. It's twenty dollars. Twenty. <laughs> wow. All right. Twenty dollars. Yeah. <laughs> well, you should raise your price. It's, it's a slightly larger able... one. Oh. Oh, these are trekking poles. Yeah, they're trekking poles. Wait, hold on. They're, are they carbon fiber? They are carbon fiber. Wow. Yeah, they are the uh, a company called Rudalakura. They're the uh, uh, yeah lightest, as far as I can tell, they are the lightest trekking poles um, on the market. Really? Yeah, they're. Uh, Didn't Durston just become the lightest, and now these I, are the I lightest? I think these are lighter. These are, than, these are the lightest -er. I think they're lighter than Durston's. I would I would have to uh, I'd have to fact check that. Okay. Um, they're, uh, yeah. What do they weigh? 3.75 ounces each. they are definitely each. lighter. I yeah. think these are in the fours. Um, but they're, um, yeah, they, uh, they're, they're as light as it gets. They, they have a, a, a twist locking mechanism. Um, they feel. You can get them without the, uh, without the straps or with the straps. I'm a strap guy. You're a strap guy? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And most people don't know how to use their straps. It's like this. You go up underneath, grab the strap down, <laughs> boom. Separate video. Yeah, separate <laughs> video. That one was for free, folks. <laughs> yeah, I, I uh, my only concern would be, well, two things. One would be, two things. <laughs> two things. One would be, uh, it's not a three-section pole. Yeah, that's true. It doesn't so back down as small. It's mm -hmm. not going to be as small. So I feel like I'd have to strap them to the outside of my pack, possibly, instead mm -hmm. of putting them in the water bottle pockets. And then if I'm going under something, you know, you're, ducking, you're always ducking under like sure. branches, <laughs> do that whole thing. Uh, but I do think they're pretty awesome. Are they, have you? They're made in the U.S. They're, uh, they're surprisingly strong, partially okay, because that was my question. carbon fiber made in the U.S. has a very good consistency in terms of its, its, um, its thickness all the way around. Okay. Um, and um, yeah, it's uh, made by a little company. It's one of the few like small cottage um, 
pole makers. Yeah, they're cool. Hey, good on you for making the world's lightest, potentially the world's lightest trekking so. pole. They are incredibly light. <laughs> My only concern would be how fragile they could potentially be and also um, the length when they're closed up. Yeah, but yeah, they're cool. Super yeah. cool. Yeah. I, I uh, okay, let me guess how much they are. I'm going to guess $120 per pole. One fifty-five is a pair. Wow! Yeah. Wow! A rare uh, under uh, under budget. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. Okay. I would, if I had the extra money, yeah. and I was hyper concerned about ounces, I would probably buy these and just cross my fingers. <laughs> and just to see, yeah, these are cool. These are definitely cool. We've never had a we've never had a return on it on an issue of a breakage. So, oh wow, who knows? Okay. Yeah, I've never seen them. So Sweet. good on you. Great product. There you go. Okay. <laughs> is it? Hold on. Is this? This is. That's a sleeve. That's a sleeve. Okay. This is. Oh what? Hey, I like this already. I'm a gray guy. I like yeah. gray. You know they say if it's gray, it's healthy for you. No one has ever said that. Uh, it's a fleece. It is a fleece. Yeah, this is nice. No pocket. No pocket. Can you, can you guess what uh, what fabric it is? This is New Zealand merino wool. Oh no! I only know that because I had a product from <laughs> yeah. Glacial Gear that was. It, oh, yeah. it sounded super fancy when I said it last it time. It sounded you said it with a lot of confidence. <laughs> I have no idea. Is this is some type of a wool? It's uh, alpaca. Oh, alpaca! Yeah. So uh, we just started carrying these. Uh, Arms of Andes that. is uh, yeah, they're a company based in Peru that makes alpaca products. They're like really light, really warm. Anything I've seen that's been alpaca has not felt like this. This feels like almost like cotton. Right? It's it's cozy. Yeah, super yeah. cozy. It's not like the uh, what you think of like the kind of like itchy and scratchy. It doesn't um, have that weird farm smell either. Yeah. <laughs> you know, sometimes you get something and it smells like a farm. Yeah. Alpaca is like a pretty like unique um, uh, fabric. It's got like a really great warmth to the uh, weight ratio. Um, yeah, it doesn't doesn't really stink as much as merino does, and. Uh, yeah. Well, Merino is still pretty good at it is. pushing away stench on it. Um, yeah. Okay. Interesting. So this stinks less than Merino? It does. Wow. I okay. mean, one could argue on either side, but I would say yes. Okay. This is going to cost somebody $85. $140. Alpacas. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Ah. Oh, it is. I'm not going to lie. This is actually really nice. Like, it feels super high quality. The stitching is really good mm -hmm. 140 i i yeah Oof. that's a that's a lot of money that is a <laughs> lot of money i i don't know of course i did just buy something from fall raven for like 150 <laughs> yeah so yeah you know i would probably buy this uh i would want to know a little bit more about what it can do for me but mm. it's lightweight it's you know feels like it would be warm mm -hmm. and i do like how i like it just looks nice. Yeah, I, I would buy this. I would buy it. I think the price is, that's tough, but yeah. it's it's cool. It's really nice. I, is this big enough for me to grab? Okay. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a, a little. It's a cook pot. It's, it's definitely 100% a cook pot. Or, or it's either the cook pot or you're going to tell me about the koozie or coat that it's in, right? <laughs> Correct. Oh, it's a Gossamer gear. Yeah, a little um, uh, uh, a pot protector that uh, has a reflective material on the inside oh. so it retains heat really well. Okay. And it's, it's just like a toke's pot on the inside, but yeah, it's for, uh, you know, when you want to keep something warm for a decent period of time, um, or if you want to rehydrate something, um, it's tied back on the outside and that reflective material on the inside. Yeah, this also, is super nice. Also, you can nice. kind of like hold it easier than you can, like, you know, yes. if you have boiling yes. water and you're going to burn your hands, but in there it's like a nice uh, so are you, cozy thing. How are you doing this though? Do you fold it in and then? Yeah, exactly. Okay. I've oh, actually I seen see. people recently who they use this and then they'll just put like a, a like a, a Ziploc bag or a plastic bag on the inside and not even use a, a, like a titanium pot and they'll just kind of eat right out of this. Oh, wow. That's next level lightweight. <laughs> that's extra. Sorry, I'm not doing that. But uh, yeah, it's a great way for like, I don't know, keeping your, keeping your stuff warm. It's nothing worse than like, you know, going to the bathroom and then coming back and having your stuff already kind of cold. Yeah, this is, this is super cool. I like this. I would totally buy this. I'm going to say Gossamer Gear, $15. 22. 22. 22. Yeah. They, that's, little... that's the small one. They've got one that's uh, for, for slightly bigger pots, too. Okay. So. 
Yeah. That's a little on the high end, I'm not going to lie. For price, gospel gear, you need to get your price down. You're better than that. You're not the garage growing people anymore. <laughs> I should be saying no, but I'm not because I like it. I'd buy it. This one's for you, Emmett. For Emmett? Why are you handing it to me? Because <laughs> I know you won't like it. It's got to be a fanny pack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's uh, technically not a fanny pack. That is actually a fanny pack. That is a sling. <laughs> it's a pack. I thought Emmett would like this. Oh, yeah. You, that... I think you could pull it off. Yeah, you can pull that off. Just it saying. does. It matches. Yeah, it looks good on you. That's also from All Man's Right. Yeah, if you're not feeling quite comfortable in the fanny pack, the the shoulder sling is a potential. Still keep your uh, your like needed accessories on hand. Not so, have to rummage through your pack. I'm confused. Is this? What is the purpose of this? Is this like a day, like a mini day pack kind of thing? You could um like I think the 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 best use is you could kind of uh, have it. If you have your pack on, you can keep it um, okay. underneath your, uh, or, uh, or if you're in between a your hiker and you get to town, something yeah, like this. Carry it around. Whatever. Okay. Um, you can also like, like fanny packs you can kind of use as like a chest uh, strap, keeping it in between your sternum strap and your hip belt and still gives you access to stuff as you need yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. And then you can look, uh, you can look fly when you're, uh, you're definitely in town. looking fly. Sorry. <laughs> I am 100% not buying that period. <laughs> Emmett probably will race to the store the second this is over to buy this for for sure uh i think it's a cool product it's it's obviously well made yep. super well thought through i can see from some of the toggles and latches and different things on here Yeah, he's so got really can, great really great designs if you're a fanny pack guy you're probably buying this but i am definitely not <laughs> so i like that it's got pockets on the back end yeah or a pocket back here little so snap. a little two snapper okay uh this is gonna cost is this ultra that is ultra. Yep. Okay. Uh, this is going to run you forty nine ninety five. One hundred percent right. Seventy bucks. Why would you do that, people? <laughs> I'm going to hand it to you, and then I'm going to get something else out. Do I have to keep my eyes closed the whole time? Uh, no. You can open up your eyes when you get this thing. It's obviously a pillow. It is a pillow. Oh, but I bet you it's not about the pillow. It is not about the pillow. It's about the pillowcase. It's about the pillowcase. Which it is. Oh. Okay. The. So it's a yeah, it's it's by a company called Pillow Strap, um, and so you can it's this you know material that goes over, and then you can tuck this around your pad so that your pillow doesn't move around in the night. Okay, is the main thing, um, and uh, you can put uh, an inflatable pillow in there. You can also put like a bunch of your clothes in there and oh. just kind of uh, yeah. the, the hold it on in there. Yeah, that makes sense. I like that idea. And then because uh, I don't know, I've woken up a bunch of times just being like, where is my pillow? Yes. Especially with how like s slippery both like the pads and the the pillows are I feel like they can just move around a ton um, but this when you uh put this little strap around uh keeps it in place who so you have to uh, find it. Or, or sorry what what is this is this polyester do you know yeah i think it's just a spandex span, it's, i think it's spandex spandex um, mostly okay spandex i i think it's cool i i have my pillow system all set up but if i didn't i would probably buy this because i do like the idea of being able to shove stuff in there mm -hmm. as sort of a pill kit and it straps around something so that's yeah. cool yeah no this is a great product i like this a lot i'm gonna guess the price on this it's gotta be like 15 bucks please please don't be more than 15 dollars. 35. that is definitely not going in my backpack i'm sorry <laughs> yeah that's too expensive i'm okay. sorry that's yeah, right. i'm not buying it that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> great product though there's a backpack come on yeah i brought you a backpack yeah oh I've heard of these guys. Bonfus? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they make um they are another company that really has excellent um, craftsmanship and design. This is their most recent pack, the uh, the fastest. Oh wow. That's a uh, yeah, Vesta vest strap style yeah. pack. Super smart. I yeah. wish more companies would do this. Like right? The vest. It's style it, strap. it's just so comfortable. I feel like it's like a, a backpack that like hugs you back. It <laughs> It's a lovable backpack. It is a lovable backpack. Yeah. No, this is nice. Uh, a little small for me. Yeah, it is, uh, it is a 23 liter. It's, yeah, it's, this is it's like a itty -bitty. day pack. Yeah, if you're a, if you're like a five pound base weight, maybe yeah. I guess. I would I would struggle to be able to uh, to be able to use this for for more than two to three days. Yeah, your fruit alone is going to be bursting at the seams. Yeah, uh, this is really cool though. Seems really well made. Yeah, it's. Uh, um, Ultra, it's got a, a bot bottom pocket for, for uh, stashing and storing. Okay. Um, Seams yeah. are taped at the... They are taped. Up here. Wow, that's, yeah. that's, that's surprising. 
and just like a, I, I love like it does have a hip belt uh, that uh, that is on the on the bottom as well um, that uh, can be removed if you don't want it. This here, yeah. So like you can you can yeah. detach it if you if you want, but um, you can also just uh, yeah. I like how much the vest strap just kind of transfers weight up. Yeah, this is super nice. If I was, I mean, I think the bag is too small. I'm, I just don't see a use case for me. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to guess. Can I guess price? You definitely can. Price on this is going to be $275. Ooh, close. 225 225 Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's actually not a bad price for uh, something. I mean, if, do they sell different leader sizes? They do. Uh, not not for this particular pack, but they, they sell um, a bunch of other kind of different variations of packs. Okay. Yeah. And I'm... I'm not a frameless pack guy, but yeah. They also sell uh, some frame packs. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, this is really nice. I'm impressed. I'm going to have to try out one of these packs at some point. Sweet. <laughs> yeah. I would I would totally buy this if this was my use case. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Now this is the last one. Oh, okay. <laughs> I accidentally opened my eyes. I have seen this. This was actually sent to me a couple of years ago and I didn't know what it yeah. was. I thought it was like a cup holder thing for your truck or something. Oh sure. Yeah, to be able to like put your um Yeah, I was like, why are they sending me a like am I supposed to put like a 12 pack in here of beer or whatever? <laughs> well, all pieces of gear need to be multifaceted, yes. right? So I know what this is. This is the uh thing that goes between you and your backpack for ventilation. Mm -hmm. Um yeah. I, I I would not buy this. Just throwing that out there. I don't sweat on my back isn't the end of the world. And as someone who uh, I don't even know if the camera can currently see how much sweat I have on my back, <laughs> but uh, back sweat this. is real for he me. He needs this. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. This we is... have this. This product is one of our probably like most controversial. Of like we have people that like swear by this and love it, and then other folks who are I don't know why i'd bring this um but uh yeah. if if back sweat and back ventilation like is the bane of your backpacking yeah. experience this is great and if it's not a thing like you don't need to be creating your own problems like if you don't care about it i mean it I, I'm, I'm saying this from a total non-use case i've never used this before i probably shouldn't be saying anything but this just looks like a stretch to me for somebody to think about a product that needs to be created so they can make something and that's just my personal <laughs> opinion never having used it before uh, but it is very interesting and I'm sure people love it, but, but not for you. No, that's okay. No, not at yeah. all. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> I don't remember what it was, but I'm going to say it was like 25 bucks or something like that. All right. I, you didn't like the product initially. I don't think you're going to like it more. Okay. Uh, it, uh, it's priced at $53. What is wrong with you? Are you if kidding you, me? <laughs> you know, what? uh, it, it adds support, uh, 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 it kind of turns a framed pack into a little bit more of a framed pack. I don't think I'm going to convince you on this one. You are not even <laughs> even slightly convincing me on that one. <laughs> yeah. No. All right. That was fun. Lloyd, yeah. you're the man. Thanks for coming out. You bet. Appreciate it. Where can people find you? Uh, GarageGrownGear.com. GarageGrownGear.com. See you on the next one. YouTube is a rabbit hole of information. So in order to solve that problem, I wrote a backpacking course where I took my 10 years of backpacking experience and the 400 YouTube videos that I filmed and condensed it down into just 18 videos videos and a few lessons for you to learn. All you have to do is go to my brand new website, danbeckeroutdoors.com and look for the course.